1945, Manila, a city caught in the crossfire of history. As World War II neared its climax, the streets echoed with determination and despair. Witness the profound struggle of a pivotal battle that would define the fate of a nation. Advance into Manila, February 3rd, 4, 1945. The Battle of Manila began on February 3, 1945, as the American forces made their advance into the city, aiming to recapture it from the Japanese who had been in control since 1942. Led by the U.S. 37th Infantry Division and the 1st Cavalry Division, the American forces moved towards Manila from the north and the east. They were supported by Filipino guerrillas who had been actively resisting the Japanese occupation and were crucial for their intimate knowledge of the terrain. In the early stages of the offensive, the liberating forces had to overcome significant defensive positions established by the Japanese in the northern outskirts of the city. However, by leveraging a combination of infantry, tank, and artillery tactics, they managed to breach the Japanese lines. One of the first major objectives of this advance was the liberation of the Santo Tomas internment camp. This camp was a makeshift prison where the Japanese had interned more than 3,500 civilian men, women, and children of various nationalities, primarily American and British, during their occupation of the Philippines. On the night of February 3rd, the 1st Cavalry Division reached the internment camp and, after a brief battle, managed to secure it, freeing the internees who had endured years of hardship under the Japanese. The liberation of the Santo Tomas internment camp was a significant early victory in the Battle of Manila and provided a morale boost for the advancing forces. By February 4th, the American and Filipino forces had established a significant presence within the city. However, the stiff Japanese resistance signaled the intensity of the urban combat that was to follow in the succeeding weeks of the battle. The initial advance into Manila set the stage for one of the fiercest and most destructive battles in the Pacific theater of World War II. Battle for the City, February 5th, 12, 1945. Following the initial advance into Manila, the period from February 5th to 12, 1945, marked the intensification of the battle as U.S. and Filipino forces confronted fierce Japanese resistance throughout the city. This phase of the battle witnessed some of the most brutal urban warfare of the Pacific theater. The Japanese forces, under the command of Admiral Sanji Iwabuchi, were determined to hold the city and mounted a formidable defense. Japanese soldiers were strategically positioned in key strongholds, such as government buildings, factories, and intramuros, the walled city. The fortified structures provided them with considerable protection and created a challenging environment for the advancing U.S. and Filipino forces. The U.S. 37th Infantry Division and the 1st Cavalry Division, supported by Filipino guerrillas, engaged in heavy street-to-street -street and house-to-house -house fighting. The American forces found themselves having to clear each building, often under heavy sniper, machine gun, and artillery fire from the well-entrenched Japanese. Moreover, the destruction of bridges by the Japanese across the Pasig River, which bisects the city, complicated the movement of the American and Filipino forces and isolated parts of the city. During this period, American artillery and air support were limited due to the high risk of civilian casualties and the destruction of the city. As a result, infantry and tanks had to bear the brunt of the assault, often leading to high casualty rates. By February 12th, the U.S. and Filipino forces had gained control of significant portions of the city. However, key areas, most notably Intramuros, the historic walled city, remained under Japanese control. The week of fierce fighting had seen considerable casualties on both sides and significant damage to Manila. But the most intense phase of the battle for Manila was yet to come. Liberation of Bilibid Prison and Malacanang Palace, February 4th, 5, 1945. Amidst the early stages of the Battle of Manila, two significant events occurred from February 4, 5, 1945, the liberation of the old Bilibid Prison and Malacanang Palace. The old Bilibid Prison, a former Filipino prison that the Japanese had transformed into an internment and transit camp for prisoners of war, POWs, was an early objective for the U.S. and Filipino forces. The Japanese used the prison to hold thousands of POWs in harsh conditions, before transporting them to other locations throughout their empire. 
The liberation of the Bilibid prison marked a significant humanitarian victory, as it allowed for the rescue of many emaciated and ill-treated prisoners who had been suffering under the Japanese. The liberation of the Malacanang Palace, the official residence of the Filipino president, held both strategic and symbolic importance. The palace was located strategically on the banks of the Pasig River and had been used by the Japanese as a defensive stronghold. The U.S. 37th Infantry Division, along with the Philippine Commonwealth troops, assaulted the palace grounds on February 4th. By February 5th, they had successfully secured the palace, driving out the Japanese defenders. Securing the Malacanang Palace was seen as a symbolic victory as it represented the restoration of the pre-war government. The palace had been the residence of the Commonwealth president before the Japanese invasion, and its recapture signaled the imminent return of the Commonwealth government, which had been in exile in the United States during the occupation. Both these events marked notable progress for the Allied forces during the initial stages of the Battle of Manila. However, significant challenges remained as much of the city was still under Japanese control, and the urban battle would continue to intensify in the weeks to come. End of the Battle, March 3, 1945 The Battle of Manila officially came to an end on March 3, 1945, marking the conclusion of one of the bloodiest and most intense battles in the Pacific theater of World War II. The final days of the battle were marked by intense fighting in the Intramuros district, the old walled city of Manila. With the American and Filipino forces advancing, the Japanese defenders made their last stand within the fortified walls of Intramuros. After days of heavy bombardment and fierce street-to-street -street fighting, the U.S. 37th Infantry Division finally succeeded in capturing Intramuros on February 28th. However, pockets of resistance remained, and it wasn't until March 3rd that all resistance was finally quelled. The end of the battle brought immense relief, but it also revealed the full extent of the devastation that had been inflicted on the city. Much of Manila, once touted as the Pearl of the Orient, was reduced to ruins and the infrastructure was severely damaged. Tens of thousands of civilians had been killed, many as a result of the brutal massacres conducted by the Japanese during their last days. Many historic and cultural landmarks had also been destroyed during the course of the battle. The successful recapture of Manila by the U.S. and Filipino forces marked a significant step towards the total liberation of the Philippines. The victory came at a high cost but was a pivotal moment in the Pacific War, pushing the Japanese forces further back and paving the way for the eventual Allied victory. However, the end of the battle did not signal the immediate end of conflict in the Philippines. Pockets of Japanese resistance persisted in the rural and mountainous areas of the country, and sporadic fighting would continue until the end of World War II in August 1945. Despite this, the Battle of Manila marked a significant turning point in the struggle for the liberation of the Philippines.